So, hey guys, um, I just tried to film this video and got conditioner all over the place. Uh, but basically, as you guys probably can figure out, like I said, I'm going to dye my hair today. So, I know it's still dark in some places, but I'm not willing to risk bleaching my hair again because I probably shouldn't have bleached it last time. I should have just left it alone for a couple of weeks, like I've been doing, but I chose not to. So anyways, um, let's get back to where I was. Alright, so basically I am pouring a little bit more of this, uh, suave basic coconut oil in. Um, the reason I'm using this cheap conditioner is because of the fact it doesn't have sulfates. And anytime you want to use dye and conditioner, uh, together, you don't want to use sulfates. The reason being that the sulfates will strip the hair color. So I love that specific conditioner because it smells amazing. It has coconut oil in it, and if you don't like coconut oil, you can always find a different scent um, to mix it up with uh, if you want to use conditioner. If not, you're basically just going to gonna want to use a little bit of water, but that's going to make it runny, so that's why I suggest using conditioner. And besides, even if you do use con coconut conditioner and you don't like it, what are the risks? You're mis mixing it with the semi-permanent dye anyway, and that's probably going to have a very nice smell, so that should just cancel it out. Now, I'm not going to do what I did last time, so I'm just going to pick it up and show you. Um, this is about how much conditioner you want, and my conditioner is very runny for some reason. Don't know why. Um, but, anyways, uh, the next step you want to do is add some dye, obviously. So the first dye I'm going to be using is by La Roche Directions, and it is in the color Mandarin. Um, in the last video I t already took off the safety cap off the new one, but this one I only have like maybe a little bit more than half because I actually already made my uh, shampoo and conditioner, and that's one thing you want to do is you want to add some dye, semi-permanent, not permanent dye your shampoo and conditioner to make your color last longer because every time you go to use it if you had red hair or any other type of non-permanent hair color and you uh, went and purchased like riveting reds for example and it was completely red the reason for it is my TV just went light don't know why that was weird but anyways uh, the reason for them actually mixing or uh, having red conditioner for the red hair um, or shampoo is because they mix the dye in obviously and it deposits color every single time you go and use it that's why the riveting reds they say try to use gloves um, because it will stain your hands but anyways I am using once more uh, Mandarin La Roche directions and I'm just going to put a little bit of color in here, and I'm going to do it slowly so that you guys can see. Alright, so I want to show you about how much I put in. That is about how much, and I'm going to get dye all over the place, but I'm okay with it. That's why you want to do it in a place where you're okay with it getting, with dye getting all over the place. Um, though I am going to dye my hair in my bathroom because I don't want stains all over my bedroom. Just on this, uh little thing it's okay um just cause so i'm gonna add more color until i like uh what color it starts to come out as and the reason also why i'm using conditioner is to preserve the dyes so that i don't need to use more than uh i i can get away with with the conditioner because of the fact that dye costs a lot more than one dollar conditioner that's true all right so now i'm just going to mix the color together with the conditioner and if i need more color and or conditioner i will add more now this is coming out to be a very beautiful color but i'm going to need more because i have a full head of hair and i don't want to wet it um, but one thing you might want to do when using semi-permanent dye, they say leave your hair as dirty as possible. Uh, but the bottle does say leave your hair uh, as dry and clean as possible, which means shampoo it and make sure it's like as close to damp as it is to dry. Or as close to dry if you don't want to uh, completely let your hair be 
dry. Uh, because doing that will make sure that the follicles pick up on as much color as possible and you won't be washing all that color down the drain. Thankfully I have wood, a wooden dresser, so that's not too much of a problem for me. But everybody is different and that's why you should probably do this in your bathroom or in your kitchen or wherever you feel is safest and you're okay with getting color all over the place because that's what I do and thankfully I have a towel underneath uh, just in case because even though I said I could actually um, do this in my bedroom uh, uh, I don't want to get it all over the place uh, I already said that but you know so I'm just gonna add more conditioner until I feel it's enough to cover my whole head and if I need to add more dye, I will. I also have a few other uh, previous dyes that I've used in red and orange. Mandarin is an orangish color, so if you want like an orange based hair color, go for Mandarin instead of, you know, like any other color. Um, with directions, I love it though. Because it's so pigmented, it's almost like a neon red orange. So, I guess that's why they don't call it orange, they call it mandarin. I don't know, that's just a guess. Alright, so I'm going to use up the rest of this bottle. And that's why I said use conditioner. Because I already used up all of this tub. And I'm going to need to buy more. Thankfully I have another tub, just in case I need more dye, but this is the way the world works. And because my hair is like several different tones, um, I'm gonna get like a multi-tonal color, which is something I really, really am going for. I don't want like, I would love to have a solid color, but if I can't get it, that's okay. Alright, so now I'm just mixing the dye together and shaking it as well to make sure that the color on the bottom gets to the top and mixes with the uh, pigment I just put in. I'm probably going to add a little bit more red to this because I want it more of a red based orange instead of a yellowish based orange because I've always preferred red over just about any other color except for when it comes to purple then I will go blue based. And I have had purple hair before, but you guys probably haven't seen it unless you've watched or uh, added me on Facebook. Or you know me in person, obviously. Alright, so I'm going to add just a tad bit of red. And this is Apple Red, and it's by Avatar. I got this at my local uh, beauty supply store. Also, I got my directions. If you guys haven't watched my channel, I got my directions hair dye off of bluebanana.com. And the reason for it being an online website is because it's very hard to find directions in America. So I just got it from the UK, where my dad came from. So I'm just going to mix this together, and I can already smell the Avatar uh, hair dye in here, because it's that strong. Alright, so all of this is just about mixed together. And also don't feel like the semi-permanent dye is going to damage your hair because it does have conditioner in it already. So, it's not going to really hurt your hair too much. Or, it's not going to hurt your hair at all or actually condition it. There you go. Alright, so I just want to show you the color of the dye before I start to apply it in my bathroom, which will be in my next video. So if you want to see my video for dyeing my hair... Um, go watch that, but that's the color I came up with, with a buttload of conditioner, and like, three-fourths a tub of that, uh, directions. I'm gonna scrape, try to scrape out the rest of the directions, see if I can get it out with my fingers and blend it, but other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Um, how am I gonna do this? Do I have a clean finger? Yes, I do. Alright, bye guys, love you.